What's going on everybody? Pessy Waves here and today I'm reviewing an action figure from a tool line that I've never bought from before. Um, this action figure is going to be the Headless Horseman from uh, Four Horsemen Studios I think they're called. Which I'm very very excited to open man. The pictures of this guy looks freaking amazing and I just can't wait to get him out of the box. If he looks anything like those pictures, he's, I'm going to be happy with this figure. Um, and I figured since this is a new toy line, I want to do an unboxing because it's straight from them. Um, and I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be very cool and interesting. Um, and hopefully I don't mess it up. This is my first unboxing ever. So if I show stuff off the camera or I'm really bad at it, I'm sorry in advance. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get onto it. Um, I'm trying to just do it like this. So let's go ahead and try to open it up. Um, very, very excited. I got this box cutter. So hopefully it gets the job done. Yeah. So hopefully everything's working fine. I don't want to mess this part up because I can't unbox it ever again. I mean, I, I could, but I don't want to fake that. That's going to be useless. All right. So has a lot of packaging. I got to keep making sure I don't mute the mic on accident. Let me get you away from the box. So I don't make too much noise. All right. So we have all this packaging right here. So they package it very, very nicely. So, whoa. Let me get, it. Let me get that all out of there. Oh, <laughs> that art looks dope, bro. God, let me get it out of here. Whoa, look at that, dude. Looks freaking awesome. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do the box segment right here. So I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm seeing it the first time y'all are. So don't judge me if I miss anything. So yeah, this looks freaking dope. Look at that. Here's the front of the top of the box side. Looks dope. Look at that. Wow. Now, is this the best box I've ever gotten? Yes. <laughs> and then that's a nice figure obscura logo that they've been i guess this is this, this is the new this is their new like brand thing right i think so i think this is like a holiday brand i know the last figure that they did was krampus which i am thinking about paying after price market for uh just because i don't really want the red one i want the black one so i'm thinking about buying aftermarket one um, it's like it's going for like 90 bucks. So it's not more expensive than this one. I don't know how much it was uh, When it first came out if y'all could let me know I'm not a four horseman type of guy So this is my first ever one like I said before and multiple times uh, so Yeah, if y'all can let me know how much that Krampus costs originally that'd be sweet even though I'm probably gonna buy them regardless uh, Whoa so I opened the side of it and that's how that looks. That's pretty cool. I don't want to, I don't want to drag this segment on too long. Uh, let's go ahead and open this side. See if it's the same thing. Well, it's a little different. Has like a, oh, like a, a live tree. <laughs> looks pretty cool. Man, this freaking looks so cool. I'm going to have to keep the box. There's no way I'm throwing it away. Whoa. All right, so I guess this is the diorama piece. I can have that in the background, which is pretty sweet. I've never had uh, a four horseman again, like I said multiple times in this video. Danny, we get it. But anyways, yeah. This is pretty dope. I might do my... Actually, no, I was thinking I might do my review of this guy. Uh, wow. I might do my review of this guy with that diorama that I, that they have, but I think I might just put him in my old diorama. Might as well. So, with that off, this is how he looks in package. Wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> how many times can we say wow this video? This video. Headless Horseman. Looks dope. Looks amazing. 
So, yeah. Let's see. Are we missing anything else? I don't think I need to see the bottom of the box. But just in case y'all do. Here you go. I don't know why y'all will need that. Because this is a limited figure, so you're not going to get anywhere else. Ha ha ha. I'm not selling it. There's just no way. You're not getting it anywhere else, so. Gosh. All right. So let's, let's, that's enough of looking at this at this figure in, in the box. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this guy open and let's review him. All right, everybody. So we got these guys out of the package and man, do they look amazing. Um, but before we take a look at them, um, I wanted to take a look at the back panel that was in the box with these figures because I think that it can also be used as another diorama piece, which I think is very, very cool. Here it is. Looks very, very cool with a nice bridge background. I think this looks awesome. God, this, this I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. I think it would be nice to take pictures with it. And it has a little bottom stand where you can put on them as well. And then side panels where you can close it off. I think it looks freaking great. So I think this is another add-on with it, which just makes the whole entire package even more worth it. And it's already worth it as it is. I, I mean, I, this was a pretty hefty price. Uh, I think it cost 120, but with everything included, I mean, I just had to. I didn't even, I didn't even wince at it, man. I instantly bought it. Um, but yeah, let's go and take a look at the figures. Um, they look absolutely beautiful and in hand, they feel super premium. Um, I don't know how to explain it besides they just feel super super good quality in hand um, The only other expensive figure that I've had like this is Mafex um, But Mafex some of their figures feel super flimsy and honestly I broke the one that I bought um, It was the man of steel Superman and it broke on me within three months which was unfortunate But this figure feels super super good quality and he you can you can feel it man the plastic all the different types of plastic within the the outfit like this little thing feels like a like super like i don't know it feels super rubbery and it can move as well like a really soft plastic which just feels really really nice and it has all these sculpt work in it with all the little um metal dots on it fit you, you can feel them popping out and it just feels really really good to the touch um but yeah, the details in this figure look absolutely amazing. I mean, look at all that detail work put on them. You can see every single little buckle is, is painted. The patches are painted all over it. Look freaking great, man. This figure's beautiful. And then you can see that little nice rotting uh, oranges within the pumpkin itself. Like what happens in real life, which looks freaking beautiful. And uh, the pumpkin head has a little indents right here. So you can tell that the pumpkin's not perfect itself. Which I think is a nice touch. And God, is this figure beautiful, man. Gosh. Although, I do have one question for all those that collect Mythic Legions. Because, like I said, this isn't my first Mythic Legions that I've ever collected. Um, do y'all know what these little inserts are? I have no idea what they are. I thought I was missing a accessory or something. Because I don't know what that is. Um, but, yeah. If anybody knows what that is, please let me know down below. Um... Other than that, this figure looks absolutely amazing. Gosh, look at this. It looks like this looks like a different type of me like a metal, which I think looks cool. Like like this looks metal. Like like then this one looks like cloth. Absolutely beautiful. Gosh. And on to the second figure that we got, um, and he stands very well too. I have no problems dropping him or standing him like every time i just put him like that he just instantly stands he never drops which is freaking cool um and i'm notorious for not being able to stand up my figure so that's a compliment um now this is the horse which this guy ha also has very crazy detail within him look at that patchwork or that little robe thing that he has hung on him see all those details within that and every i mean everything is painted on these figures and i'm not really used to that so just seeing it looks they look freaking crazy and then the head sculpt like the eyes they don't they're not like just painted red like they have like i don't i can't tell they have depth to them which like it looks like it has a soul between, behind it um and then the mouth is painted very very good and like, everything on these figures is painted to like extreme detail i mean he has veins in his arms god 
these look beautiful and you can see like all like the little bitty hairs that are on them like actual horses have gosh beautiful beautiful set man here's the bottom of it and even that fur is painted as well gosh and there's the little satchel thing that they have a little bedroll man these look amazing and here's the feet as well nice hair sculpt work on there beautiful beautiful figures man i don't know who's gonna be disappointed with these guys man <laughs> I, I if you're disappointed with this then i don't know what to tell you i don't know what other toy line is out there that will be able to please you um because these figures are absolutely beautiful to me um i honestly don't know what else i could have done with them differently to make them even more better because they're perfect to me um but yeah let's go on to the accessories the horse comes with a alternate headpiece that you can put on him to make him look more dynamic like you're running in the wind which i think looks really cool all you have to do is plug it out and plug it back in for this um and yeah very very cool accessory for that now on to the uh, headless horseman um his accessory is a flaming head which dude if y'all can see this in person i don't know if it looks like in a camera but the flame effects look beautiful you can a nice yellow fades to orange to red or it's a dark orange and it looks beautiful man hopefully the camera's picking up the like the extreme detail that's in this because it looks amazing gosh and it has the same yellow or orange work in there to make it look like the pumpkin's decaying beautiful beautiful work man gosh and then for the whenever you have his uh head in his hand here's a little piece to put on the neck so it's not just a peg um, it's like a nice little like fleshy neck piece and like there's a little bit of bone like a little bone ring right there which God, <laughs> attention to detail man the attention to detail is amazing i'm definitely tempted to buy more mythic legions even though they're extremely expensive i'm very very tempted to buy more i've, I've looked on big bad toy store to look at other mythic legions that are available and they're beautiful first i think i'm gonna get the krampus for my next figure but we'll see what, what happens with those um now on to the alternate hands let me get them all out over here so he's gonna come with two gripping hands so you can grip the rope on the horse or the sword itself so here they are they're even painted nicely as well which they look amazing so yeah these are gripping hands where you can grip any like the the rope or the sword itself which looks pretty cool or pretty cool uh, accessories here is something that's really really cool as well this can be used to put the head in his hand so it won't fall out all the time so he can just pin on there and you can just hold it like that and it doesn't fall or anything which is very very cool I think that's a very very cool uh, oh, thing that they added just because I feel like a lot of people would have gotten annoyed if it didn't come with that hand but yeah i think it would have been a very annoying to just have an open hand like that try to put the head in it try to balance it so i really do like how they put it put that uh hand accessory in there here's a more of an open hand so you can have kind of like a sinister like come here kind of hand which is very cool and the hands that he comes with are going to be uh one of these so the same one as this one on the left hand and then another grabbing hand on his right hand so next accessory is going to be the sword this one's not going to have too too much detail within it but honestly it's fine i think this matches the figure very very well as you can see and it does the job this is a very very cool looking sword yeah now on to the last accessory i didn't want to put this on him yet because it would have taken a lot of space but here goes his cape it has a nice red and black pattern on the back and then some nice real, real chains i'm not really used to having real chains so this is really really cool um you're you have to take the head off in order to put this on on them so yeah very cool looking cape you can, it has bendy wire in it so you can bend it in the, any dynamic pose that you want so very very cool i'm gonna put the cape on them in the final portion of the video uh, I don't want to put them on him yet because I still have to do the overview and the articulation and stuff. So, yeah. Very cool cooking cape. Can't wait to put it on him. Um, and, yeah. So, with all that being said, 
Let's go ahead and take a look at these guys' articulation. All right, everybody. So starting off with the articulation, um, these guys actually are going to have be very, very well equipped with articulation. Now, there is going to be a few limitations, but it's not that bad. Um, first, we're going to take a look at the Headless Horseman. You can get a full 360 at the head, which I was actually very surprised about because of the uh, collar piece is so long. Um, you can make him look down about that much. Make him look up about that that much it's very very good you can get a full 360 at the arm although you're gonna have to go a little bit wide because of the armor piece right there he's gonna have single jointed elbows and even if they did implement double joints or double jointed elbows this little arm piece would get in the way so not that not i don't really care about that much to be honest i don't really care about double joints um now for his wrists and same thing with the ankles. They kind of are very similar to McFarlane's ankle or McFarlane's pieces, but they're, they fit a lot more better. I um, mean, go to full 360 with the hand sculpts and then they can go back and forth like that. They remind me a lot about McFarlane because they're balls, as you can see. Right there. Now he's gonna have a waist articulation to move the top one, as long as other, art uh, it's gonna be separate articulation for the bottom as well. So both, you can do both of those right there. I think they're both balls, I think. Um, he's going to have no chest articulation. He's going to have uh, single jointed uh, knees. And then a normal ball joint at the ankle, like I said before, which reminds me very, very similar of McFarland. Um, but it's not going to have that well sideward motion. You kind of like have pivots like that, which is very, very good. You can get him a kick up about that high. Now, I was also surprised with this because of the uh, little pieces right here, but it's a very, very soft, movable plastic, which I think is very, very cool. You can get them kicked back about that far. And yeah, very, very good articulation, more than I expected with this figure. So let's move him to the side. Um, we're going to take a look at the horse now. And I took his hair off because it was a little bit limiting it, or I didn't want it to be pop off while I was doing it. And that actually looks very, very good. I think this is like, like, this is like a nice bald horse. Unless you look at it like that, which is very, very noticeable, but like that looks very, very cool. So that's that. Um, first, one look at his head. You can make him look about that far up. You don't want to go too far up because of his head will pop out. Um, I, I think I just popped it off, but yeah, I, it popped off. Um, and you can make him, well, oh, well, well, we'll fix that in a second. But he has to have kind of like a hinge right here at the uh, leg. So a hinge, he's gonna have a hinge right there at the uh, knee, where, where his knee would be. I'm having a little bit of trouble because it's a horse. Um, so yeah. And then he's gonna have a separation at the neck piece so you can move him side to side. Right there. Now for the back, he's gonna have a uh, separation right here. I can't tell what joint it is. I'm not very good at telling what different joints are, so. He's gonna be able to kick up back about that far, which is pretty cool because you can get him kicking somebody. And you can get him forward about that far. He's gonna have a separation right here at the thigh, like that. And then separation at the, uh, I think this would be the ankle of the horse, I think. Which, right there you can see, you can go forward like that forward or backwards like that um, and then he's gonna have a ball joint at the ankles I'm having very much difficult with this because it's a horse and I don't know what to call them so I'm sorry if I'm kind of stuttering and trying to figure out um, the tail is also gonna have articulation which I think is very cool because whenever I was first putting him in my Dharma I didn't think he was able to fit that well with Jack and all the accessories but it, it can go out and it can tuck in so that's very very cool um, and then Let's get back to the head. For the head, I know it's popped off right now, but we're gonna try to do it. Um, he's gonna move side to side like that. Actually, I think it popped back on. He can move back side to side like that. And yeah, so very cool articulation with this guy as well. I think you can get him in any pose you're gonna wanna get an average horse in. He's not gonna be super, super crazy to make him do outlandish positions that a horse wouldn't do in real life. So I think it's very, very satisfying articulation for the horse and for the figure as well. So let's go ahead and get on to the size comparisons. 
So with the uh, size comparisons, guys, um, unfortunately, I don't have any other Mythic Legions, like I've said before. So I'm going to be comparing them to other toy lines, and I think that'd be a very, very interesting thing to do. So for the first action figure that we're going to do, or to compare these guys with, we're going to put McFarlane figures. So we're going to do a DC's Superman first. Which, honestly, I think Mythic Legions doesn't scale that bad with DC. I think that they actually scale pretty decently. Because this figure is actually super tall compared to McFarlane figures, so... They actually scale pretty good. Out of all the reviews that I've seen, I was trying to figure out how it would scale compared to the figures that I have. And it doesn't do too bad. So, here is Superman. which scales pretty good as well. All right. Now, we're going to get other toy lines in here. We're going to get some NECA stuff. And also, guys, I have the McFarlane horse as well from the Witcher Wave, or from the Witcher figures. So we're going to look at that as well after the actual regular size comparisons. So for the second one, we're going to do a NECA mummy figure, which is pretty good as well. And then, just for fun, we're going to do a Ninja Turtle figure, which is we're going to do Mikey. Which is smaller than the Mythic Legion, which I think is interesting. I was actually worried that these would be the same size as Marvel Legend, but they're not. So, very, very cool. I can use this horse for anything that I want. Which I'm very, very excited for. I can put anybody I want on them. Um, now we're going to switch up the toy lines. We're going to go to Marvel Legend. Uh, we're going to first do an MCU figure. Which is smaller. Right? Then we're going to do a more comic book looking Marvel Legend. Which is going to be the Spider-Man from the Renew Your Vows 2-pack. Which is kind of small. So, yeah, that's going to be how that sizes up together. Now we're going to bring in McFarlane's horse. Let me try to st stretch him out really quickly. All right, let's put this guy in here. So, obviously, this guy is a little bit less painted, but not a bad, not bad looking for, I think, what? This was like, what, 30 bucks, I think? Not bad figure. I didn't review this guy when I got him, so... Here's how they size up together, which he's a little, they're kind of almost the same size. This one's just a little thinner than the Mythic Legions. That's how they size up together. This one's a lot thicker. This one's thinner, more details, less details. They're different style horses, which I think is pretty cool. And pretty sure you can put this guy on this guy as well. Let me, let's look at that actually. I have not on a time limit. So, let's put the Headless Horseman on this guy. Let me... Actually, I don't know if his legs... Yeah. Alright, so that's just me fudging it for now. That's how the Headless Horseman fits on him. Oh, he's not in the frame. Let me put it back a little bit. Fortunately, this is a one hand guy, so it doesn't look bad. This is why, I mean, I know everything's misplaced and the Horde of Headless Horseman is bent, bending backwards or forwards a little bit because this is with one hand, guys. Uh, but yeah, that's how that looks. Now, that being said, that concludes the articulation. Now, let's get on to my final thoughts on this two pack. All right, everybody. So my final thoughts on this figure are, this is a beautiful piece and two pack. Every single detail is just there on these figures and they look absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for a headless hunter for you know your spooky uh, collection or display, this guy will absolutely do it for you, man. They're beautiful. They have a nice aesthetic and everything that you want is here. Um, now I do get that there's a hefty price on these two, but for what you get bang for your buck, it's perfect, man. Um, 
I think each, all the accessories are perfect. I think every single like ex execution here is amazing. However, I do have one very small gripe. Um, and this is just to be totally transparent and just to let those know out there. This head, if it ha you have to um, balance it on there correctly or um, have it sit on the figure, figure a certain way. Um, that's if you're going to have the head scope with the flames on it because it's a little too heavy for the hand to balance on its own. So it'll like flop back and forward like that. Um, but if you use the other head, it's just fine. It's just with its flame effects. Although for the exchange that they would have had to do in order to prevent that from happening, like minimize the flame effects to make it less heavier is not worth it so i do not blame them at all for that i think what we have is amazing and you know there couldn't have been anything else done to prevent that so i don't think it's anything on mythic legions or four horsemen studios it's not their fault i think for if this is a heavy head sculpt because of the added flame effects which i'm fine with trust me do not <laughs> trust me i'm not complaining about it i'm just i'm just pointing that out um now this figure is perfect to me. I do not, I do not regret spending my $120, man. This is such a beautiful two pack. And it's just, I had so much fun putting it like this, man. It was so amazing and so fun to put it like it. And just thinking of what you can do. Um, I was going to put the diorama piece in here to take the pic to do this final section of the video. However, it was too close to the camera and I wanted to kind of push it back a little bit to sword to show up that sword and everything because I thought it looked very, very cool. Um, but yeah, if you missed out on this two pack, I'm sorry. I don't know how the aftermarket prices are, but uh, maybe may wait till next Halloween and maybe you will get a re-release like we do the Krampus. Uh, hopefully y'all get that at least because this is freaking beautiful, man. I don't know how anybody could top this. I wouldn't, I don't think anybody would be able to. Um, unless it's an extreme, you know, price point, but this is perfect for me. I'm very, very happy. Um, I'm going to start looking for deals on the aftermarket for Krampus just because of the overall happiness that I have with this figure and how beautiful it is and how, you know, how much work Four Horsemen Studios puts in their figures. You can totally tell that they had a big idea with this and they executed a lot on it. So yeah, overall thoughts, very, very happy. Um, I would say my rating for this figure. Now, it is going to be high. Um, I would say the other figures that I buy are really have no, are not able to compare to this figure just because of how much detail is added onto it. Um, and you know, the Four Horsemen Studios can do that because the hefty price on it. Uh, so, with all that being said, I know it's a, heavy, it's, a, it's a lot more of a price compared to the other ones. However, on my scaling, it's going to be a 9.8. Like I said, I, it's perfect for me. Um, the other 2%, I don't know. Actually, should I give this a 10? <laughs> should I give it a 10? I don't know. Because it, 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 it sizes and scale with all my other figures. With the, I'm a main McFarlane collector. It sizes very well. <clears throat> it's a 10. You know what? I'll give it a 10. I'm not going to be you know greedy with my tens but yeah this is a 10 right here i think this is the only 10 that's been on my channel so far um i honestly don't know how they could have done it better it's perfect and if you know if you can find it for a good deal on the aftermarket go ahead man these are beautiful and you know they're gonna make a very very good looking shelf wherever you put it so that's gonna be it for my thoughts on this guys uh hope you enjoyed my video hope you enjoyed my review hopefully it wasn't too long uh but yeah Hope to see y'all guys soon. Subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. And like the video if y'all enjoyed. So, yeah. Hope to see y'all guys soon. And peace out.